Ron Adams, 20 years ago, moved from Whakatane to Wakari. The colourful shirt and shorts he wore to a DCC committee meeting this week were perhaps testament to the warmer climes of his previous region. And he clearly likes the sun, but he is less fond of the way trees are inclined to grow between that glowing ball of warmth and those brick or wooden structures people live in. Tall vegetation prevents sunlight warming the living area of a home. And the sun can take a matter of hours to pass a tall tree. That, he says, is an anomaly when the city and the country is keen to promote warm homes. Power companies can prune trees around power lines and the council already has rules about some aspects of shading. DCC's got provisions that regulate building height. Um, I think it's the two metre in and nine, nine metre up um, regulation. But as far as I can see, there's no sort of uh, regulations that govern the height of trees. Dunedin has quite a lot of trees. Many of them are right next to homes and some are on a significant tree register. Adams called for a change in that philosophy. What I'm talking about is a mindset that needs changing in some respects, I guess, so that those kinds of values can be matched against the other values which are they have become important to us in society about having warm dry home. Councillor Kate Wilson at a Planning and Regulatory Committee yesterday asked for what she described as a simple report on the council's ability to manage tree growth so councillors could consider any actions. Chairman David Benson Pope said he would get something back to the committee before long and that could mean further discussion on an issue that affects just about everyone. David Lockray, 39 Dunedin News.